How the runners are getting set for the wet weather. We go live to Action News reporter Maggie Kent inside Wisely, the Pennsylvania Convention <laughs> Center. Hey, Maggie. Brian, I have to say, I can already hear the squishing of those wet socks as you run down Broad Street. Yeah, not going to be a great time out there, but for runners, it really doesn't matter. They say they're mentally prepared. This is the largest 10 mile race in the nation. More than 36,000 people are registered to run today. A really exciting day here at the convention center because it's bib day. <laughs> It's the countdown to the Independence Blue Cross Broad Street Run. And though last year's footage looks bright and cheery, this year's 10 miler is going to be a wet one. This is probably like the fifth time it's been raining in Broad Street Run. So we got some tips on running in the rain. Baseball cap with a bill on it, and then some throwaway gloves, uh, you know, socks or old socks that you can use on your hands to keep them, to keep your hands warm. You could probably just get a trash bag or something. And just one in that. <laughs> Don't focus on the rain. Just focus on your goal. Focus on your breathing. Focus on why you're actually doing the Board Street Run. And exhale. It's time to pull out the bright blue bibs. Volunteers are at the ready. We see people from Canada. We see people from Alaska. I mean, people are coming from all over the place to do this event. For Sunday's 44th annual race through the main artery of Philadelphia, 36,000 runners will lace up. This year, prize categories will include male, female, and non-binary racers. Broad Street vets are looking forward to those who join them on the sidelines, the crowds that come out in support. I always give them a wave and make sure that they've they see me to know that we really appreciate them. It just encompasses everything Philly. You know, it is, um, it's like a big celebration and everyone's invited. Something important to note, this finish line right here. Everybody's aiming for that after the 10 mile race. It's between the Wells Fargo Center and Lincoln Financial Field this year on South 11th Street. It's not at the Navy Yard because of construction. So when you're running, make sure you make that loop and head back towards the stadium complex. The race starts at 8 o'clock Sunday morning. Good luck to all the runners out there. We're live at the convention center. Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News. Brian, Sarah. Just don't forget the loop, as you said. Maggie, thanks very much. So, ready.